There we go. All right. Oh, so this right here, um, Google Docs success or helpfully suggested an image, and I was like, yeah, that looks pretty good. So I put it there. Um, 20 minutes ago, this was just a white slide. So, All right, so what is or was the Tiger Battle, Battle Grid? Um, the Tiger Battle Grid was a project made by Martine based on some ideas that I think other folks had too, but um, it was a, a project basically to highlight the differences between OpenStreetMap data and uh, the Tiger, uh, more recent Tiger data. And that's important to know because uh, the OSM data in, in the US came from Tiger in 2008 or whatever. And um, as you imagine, things change uh, over time. And uh, the vast majority of roads in OpenStreetMap hadn't been touched since that import. And so this map was designed to show areas where uh, there was a difference in some way between what's in OpenStreetMap and what's on Tiger. And you can see this one was from, uh, this screenshot is from 2012. And um, I think that Martine lost the code for this or um, it just didn't work anymore. So um, one day, many moons ago, I decided to pick up that and uh, rebuild it. And so um, what we ended up with was a, a project that looks very similar. Um, in this case, the red is just uh, highlighting the differences between OpenStreetMap and Tiger. I believe this screenshot comes from the 2023 data, um, uh, 2023 Tiger data. And um, I didn't change the color based on uh, urban versus rural, but essentially if you zoom into one of these spots, you'll see that there's OpenStreetMap data that diverges from uh, open, or, uh, Tiger data. And yeah, there you go. So if you zoom in, uh, you see these yellow areas here are um, uh, OpenStreetMap data that has a match to Tiger data. And then these little red things around here, those are Tiger data that does not show up in OpenStreetMap. And then uh, I think the vast majority of you might have, uh, who, if you've ever used this layer before, probably have used it just for the names. Um, as part of this process, I also include the name uh, from the Tiger data set, which can be very useful if you spot a new road uh, in the satellite imagery, but you don't have the name for it. So you can pull this up and look at the name. It could be that your road that you see in satellite is too new for it to be in Tiger, but it's worth a try. Um, you can use it by uh, oh, pulling down the imagery menu in JOSM. There's, uh, I guess, a decade almost of uh, imagery now. Um, I only run this once, um, but it probably would make sense to run it more frequently as OpenStreetMap is constantly changing. In ID, it's also there under the imagery menu as an overlay. Down there at the bottom, right? Yep, okay. And also somebody helpfully put in a description of what those mean. Um, I took the screenshot so I would remember what those were, even though I made it. Um, so originally this talk was supposed to be 15 minutes long, but it became a lightning talk, so I left these in here as documentation, um, basically I'm pulling in Tiger data and OpenStreetMap data, processing it through some data here. This is a link, so if you wanna get the slides and click on that, um, you can see what the code is doing. And then uh, I take the two outputs from that, run it through a second bit of code that generates a missing tiles, uh, missing roads tile set. And then those two things go together in Mapbox to generate the red and yellow layer that you see. Um, and um, the, this slide here represents me convincing you all to think back to the heady days of OpenStreetMap and Mapbox when Tile Reduce was really cool. So Tile Reduce um, does a bunch of work on um, a MB tiles file of vector tiles, and that's what this whole system is built on. I encourage you to check it out again. It's still super useful. If not a little bit difficult to install, I don't think it really has been kept up to date with the node requirements and all that, but it still works and it is a great tool. Um, yeah, and this is also a generated image of tiles being processed. Um, uh, Turf, by the way, is more active than Tile Reduce and it's a JavaScript component that does a whole bunch of uh, geoprocessing that is useful in this context. And that's all I've got. Um, 
Now you know about those tiles. <laughs> On, on the tiger data, uh, there's obviously discrepancies. Uh, do those get fed back into OpenStreetMap where tiger is better? Um, yes. So th the kind of the the idea behind the map is that it makes it easier for mappers to to uh, spot where OpenStreetMap needs to get updated. It doesn't happen automatically, but the um, that tile set does get updated at least once a year right now. So if you see a red line, that means that uh, OpenStreetMap probably hasn't seen that data in Tiger yet. So look for red, and there's probably something to map there. Uh, will you plan to integrate the Tiger address ranges into the uh, the battle grid, or any differences between, say, um, dual carriageway, single carriageway differentiators? For that's a good point. So I, I don't have that in there right now. Right now, it's just whether or not the line exists, and then I match it to OpenStreetMap highway tags. So um, there is a difference between, or, or sorry, we don't highlight. Um, uh, so Tiger will show uh, rail railroads, for example, uh, but I don't have all the railroads in the o OpenStreetMap data. So there is some red there from a mismatch of data types between the two, but um, there's definitely an opportunity to add things like specific highway designations, address ranges, that sort of stuff. Right now it's just uh, road lines, essentially. I have another question for Ian. Uh, have you explored how um, hard it might be to create a more often update cycle in the map uh, layer? Yeah, so th that's definitely possible. Before, it was a lot easier to do because the OSM QA tiles were getting updated frequently. Now I have to do that myself, so it's relatively manual. That's why it only happens once a year. But uh, the whole thing is very well uh, easily automated, so I just need to do it, and I haven't yet. We could up We could do that as often as OpenStreetMap updates, basically. This is for Ian and the Tiger Battle Grid. If the OSMF were publishing minutely or otherwise frequently updated vector tiles, it sounds, would you be able to use those as a basis for comparison? Because it sounds like everything you've got is basically rows, which would be in the tiles. Yeah, I think so. The difference would be that I'm using the QA tiles, which don't do, or they do very minimal filtering um, and wouldn't have any geometry simplification that you might have in the, in the minutely tiles. But it, it would be worth a try, for sure. 